your, this is your 45 minute vinyasa flow practice. We're focusing today on opening up the heart because we all need a little bit more love right now. And we have to fill up our cups first, mamas, and then extend it out to our families, to our friends, to our neighbors. All right, we'll start at the top of your mat in Tadasana. Equal amount of weight in both of your feet. This is so important for the nuances that are happening energetically within your body. I've been spending a lot of time on my phone lately, no judgment, but it has really taken a toll on my upper body. So just notice, notice where the tension is. Tense, 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 and release. All right. Starting at the balls of your feet, shift the weight to the balls of your feet, shift the weight to your heels, lift your toes, and then place the balls on the feet back on the floor. And you have equal amount of weight in both of those feet. They're there for you. And if you can envision, like visualize roots from the feet to the earth, rooted, grounded. Bend your knees just a little bit. Your quads start to fire up. Now we lift through the glutes, squeeze them, and then release them. Pull your navel to your spine, get your ribs back. Lift through the chest. Take your arms up. And then push the walls away. Shoulders release. Look six inches in front of you and up. Like you have a string to the top of your head, like you're on one of those like ballet things. All right. Breathe in, take the arms up. Breathe out, take the arms down. Again, noticing the capacity of your lungs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's take two more times. Last one. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Every time you fold, it will be an exhale. So just notice how much you can release. Thought sensations. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Again, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your hands. We'll come all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, lead with your arms. Half lift. Plant your hands. We'll walk it back. Hadi lift. Put your belly down, tops of your feet down. And we'll start here with a gentle back bend. So your hands are under your shoulders. Lift your head, lift your heart, but keep your pelvis and your lower belly on the floor. Exhale, chin down or forehead down. This time we go a little bit deeper, a little bit higher. You find some extension in the elbows. Look up. Exhale, come all the way down. This time we lift the hips and the lower belly and the thighs up off the mat. Breathe in, take it up. Push into the tops of your feet when you get to the top of the pose. Upward dog. Bring it all the way down. Gorgeous. Curl under your toes. Come up in one unit. Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, float to the top of your mat. Chair pose, breathe in. Open arm twist to the right. Back to center. Open arm twist to the left. Again, we'll do this a couple more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in fully. Magic happens on the exhale. Make room for love. Inhale, exhale fear. Inhale, exhale fear. Beautiful. Inhale up. Send the legs straight. Look up and back. Forward fold. Top of your mat. Half lift, plant your hands, walk it back, high to low. Upward dog or cobra or low cobra, whatever your back allows. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose, chin or chest. Breathe in, knee to nose. Inhale up, step it all the way through. High up on the ball of your left foot, we're rising up for crescent. 
If you're experience any constriction right here or contraction in the, in the spine, micro bend the left knee and it just gets you a little bit out of your, your spine space. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Let's try that again. Inhale, up crescent. Exhale, twist right. Flip your front palm, reach up and back, revolve reverse. Look up at your left hand. And we'll spiral down. Front foot steps back, hide low. Upward dog, downward facing dog. Left leg up. Step it through. Prepare for crescent lunge. So when we experience a twist, we're about to twist left. We inhale, elongate, and then exhale, twist. Let's try it again. Ringing out your organs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and squeeze, contract. Flip your front palm, revolve, reverse. Look up. Spiral yourselves down. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Right leg up. Step it all the way through. Again, we revisit crescent lunge. Exhale, twist. Reverse, revolve. We take the left hand down to the inside of the right foot. So this is a great time for a block if you have one. Let me find mine. Can you put the block on the inside or outside of the right foot? For Pravrita Trikonasana, this is Revolve Triangle. We'll look up. Pulling that right hip foot back, left hip point forward, squaring off the pelvis to the front of the house. Take a breath in. On your exhale, both hands down. We'll step into this right foot, micro bend through the knee. Extend the left leg behind you. Whoa. Allow for lots of wobble here. Stability over flexibility. Warrior three. Straight line of energy from fingertips all the way out your back heel. If you need help, you can put your hands to your hips or your hands can come to the floor. Without letting that left foot touch the earth, pull it in for a standing knee raise. And squeeze that left knee into the chest. Give yourself some ankle rolls here. Switch directions. Making your breath fluid. We'll take the left hand to the big toes and the right hand to the hip. Inhale, lengthen, prepare for Padangusasana A, and extend. So your hips are square. If you notice that this left hip is popping up, that means you've gone too far to close the knee. Bend the knee. Belly in, ribs are back, chest is lifted. Beautiful, we'll take it over to the diagonal. And if you no longer need this hand for balance, take it out to the center, turn your gaze towards the right fingertips. We take a mudra here. Beautiful, right hand to hip. Let's pull it back to center. Keep your leg extended, keep it long, but put both your hands to your hips. Beautiful, let's take two more breaths here. Point or flex. And then figure four cross. So we'll cross the left ankle at the right knee, hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, sit it back, hips go back. Chest goes forward. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, take a twist to the right. Hook the left elbow to the middle, like squishy part of the left foot. All right, maintaining your twist. If you have a grasshopper pose, plant your hands. I'm wiggling and wobbling all over this pose. All right, plant your feet. And with that foot, stamp as high as you can get it on the back of the, the shoulder. We start to move, we start to lift, extend the right foot. Woo! <laughs> and you will fall out of that pose more times than you'll get in it. But that's where we practice, that's where the, that's what the practice is, y'all. Coming out of this, back to figure four. And we'll 
take the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, seek up chair. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands, walk it back. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing. Left leg up. Step it through. Crescent. Exhale, twist left. Flip your front palm, reach up and back. Prepare for your Parvita Trikonasana Revolve Triangle. So this block is on the inside or outside of the left foot. Scooch the back foot of the right back a little, excuse me, up a little bit. We'll take the left arm up for Parvita Trikonasana Revolve Triangle. Let's look up at this left hand. Beautiful, take your gaze down. Take both your hands down, and we're squaring off the hips first to the mat. Lean into this left foot, lift the right toes, Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Straight line of energy from the fingertips all the way out the back right heel. This is warrior three. You can take your hands wherever you choose. They can even be on the floor. Maybe play with a couple variations and see which one serves you best. And without letting that right foot touch the earth, we bring it into the chest for standing knee raise. Give yourself some ankle rolls here. And then find some stillness, left hand to hip, right piece, fingers, big toes. Lengthen and inhale. Exhale. Extend. Again. If that hip pops up, you know where to go. Bring it back in. Open this up to the diagonal for Padangustrasana B. Left hand over to the left. Your drishti is your gaze. Look at your left fingertips. Take a mudra. Bring it back to center. Hands to your hips. Point or flex the right toes. And this is not easy. It was not meant to be easy. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen. Practicing non-attachment to this pose, what it looked like on the other side, figure four cross. Hands to your heart, hips go back, chest goes forward. So this is our grasshopper pose. Inhale, lengthen, find some space. Exhale, prepare to twist right elbow inside the squishy part of your right hand. And this side's way easier for me. No judgment, but it feels better. <laughs> Bend your elbows, push all of your weight into your palms and your right foot driving into your back of your hand. Grasshopper, cute. All right, let's come out of this. Figure four chair, just as a transition. Right foot meets the left. Shake it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Plant your hands, walk your foot back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Let's take four breaths here. Beautiful, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop the back knee, top of the foot down. Come down to the forearms if that feels right for you. Beautiful, we'll walk back up and we'll step the right foot forward, Pramalasana. And notice the difference on the left hip than the right hip. Left hip should feel a little bit more open. Beautiful, we'll plant the hands. Take the right foot to the outside of your right palm. Step the left foot back, back knee down, top of the foot down, forearms. All right, plant both hands. Let's take the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it all the way through. 
crescent, crescent is a wobbly one, crescent lunge. Inhale, lengthen. On your exhale, hands to your hips, pull the right knee into the chest. Again, stability over flexibility. So we're looking to land the crescent, breathe in. Exhale, hands to hip, knee to chest. Magic happens on the exhale, here we go. Inhale, lengthen the crescent. Exhale, knee to chest. Big breaths in, big breaths out. One more time. Beautiful, one more time. Crescent. Exhale, twist. Inhale, revolve, reverse. Exhale, pyramid pose. Nose to knee, chin to shin. Walk your hands back. Palms face towards the mat so you can flatten out your palms. Beautiful. Inhale, look up. Micro bend your right knee. Place the right hand at about 2 o'clock. So if there was a clock on your mat, this right hand would be at 2 o'clock on the mat or on the block. Push the weight into your right foot, your right hand. Ardha Chandrasana, Half Moon Pose. Beautiful opening in your half moon. Let's take both hands to the mat. Left leg goes high for standing split. If you have a handstand practice, let's take three handstand hops. And we'll all meet at the top of your mat in forward fold. Separate your feet about hip width distance. Take your left hand to the middle. Inhale, right arm up. And switch sides, right hand down, left arm up. Take it one more time, switch, left down, right arm up. And right arm down, left arm up. Both hands down, we slowly roll all the way up to standing, arms up. Hands to your heart, beautiful. All right, take your hands to your hips. Your feet are about hip width distance. Inhale, look up and back. Hips go forward, heart open. Exhale, fold, leading with your heart. Kiss fingers, grab your big toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Lengthen out. And fold. One more time. Beautiful. Slowly release, but keep your fold. Place your hands underneath your feet so that your toes are kissing your wrist. Padahaspasana, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Non-attachment to the exhale or the inhale. Breathe in or the close. Exhale. One more time. Release your feet. Hands to hips. Like you're moving through water real fluidly, you move all the way up. And you get to the top of the pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Walk the toes together, plant your hands. Hop it back, walk it back. Chaturanga. Ardha Mukha. Adha Mukha. All right, inhale, left leg up. Step it all the way through. Crescent lunge. We are back here again. So remember, stability over flexibility. Core strength over the ego, over the show. Lengthen, exhale, come forward, pull the right knee into your chest. You're stabilizing with your center. Inhale, crescent, exhale, come on in. A couple more times. Inhale, breathe in, breathe out. Again, inhale, exhale. Last time. Hold it in crescent, breathe in, prepare to twist, breathe out. Let your front palm reach up and back, reverse. Spiral yourselves down to straight legs pyramid pose. Walk the back foot up. You have flat feet, straight legs, nose to knee, chin to chin, start to walk your hands back, palms towards the earth, drop the palms, drop your head.
inhale, look up. Take your left hand to about 11 o'clock. We'll push through the left foot and the left palm for a balance. Open up, half moon. Look up. Beautiful breath here, Reese plant both hands. Take the right leg up to the sky for standing split. Maybe you wanna try some handstands here. Maybe you wanna hold your standing split or take little pulses at the top of the pose. Beautiful. And then we'll slowly bring the right foot to meet the left foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, up to chair. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the right. Take it open. Open up your legs just a little bit. Left hand between your legs, right arm up and over. Maybe you interlace your hands by rotating the left elbow. If you've been coming for a while, Take your gaze down all the way to your right foot. Lift your left knee to your level of flexibility and awareness. Be your own teacher, know when you need to go, know when you need to stop. You can stay here, you can straighten the leg. Allow for lots of wobble as we come back down. Keep your bind if you still have it. Beautiful. And we'll meet at the top of the mat back in the forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Hands to heart. Beautiful, step the right foot way back. And your feet are externally rotated. And that external rotation is starting at the top of your hip. Breathe in, take your arms up. Breathe out, take your hands to your heart. Hands to your hips, thumbs back, fingertips forward. Now straighten up your toes so that they're square to the front of the house, the front of your room. Inhale, look up. Breathe in, exhale, whoa, <laughs> fold forward. I'm not used to talking the whole time I teach. Peace fingers to your big toes again. Breathe in, pause right up, Hado Tamasana A. Exhale, fold, square off your elbows. Lifting through your kneecaps, engaging your hands, engaging your quads. Push your toes into the knuckles of your hands. Three more breaths. Release your neck if you haven't done so already. Beautiful, place your hands to your hips, slowly roll up. All right, again, inhale, look up and back. Exhale, fold forward. And when you can't fold forward anymore, drop your hands. And you can stay here, you can start to walk your hands back so that your head is in line with the arches of both of your feet. And there's no hurry to really get anywhere. The breath work is the magic. It is a breathing practice. All this other stuff is just shapes. Helping you get to the present moment. Take your hands to your hips again. We'll slowly roll all the way down. Pause to Padottanasana, letter C. Take your hands, interlace them at your low back, right at your sacrum. Inhale, roll your shoulders down and back away from your ears. Look up. Exhale, hinge forward, lead with your heart again, but this time you take your hands up over you. Keep your palms together if you can. Again, stability over flexibility. Let go of the ego of where you think this pose should be, what you think you should look like, and be content with where you are. Beautiful. Slowly release your hands to your hips, and again, we'll micro-bend the knees, roll all the way down. Beautiful. Hop to the top of your mat, arms at side body. Inhale, sweep up to chair pose. Exhale, twist to the left. Take your arms wide and then take an inch apart between your knees. Leave the left, excuse me, right arm in between. Take your left arm up and over. Maybe you find hands today. Get a good grip. Get your belly up off your legs. All the weights in your left foot. We start to reach the sky. Take the right leg high. Bird of Paradise. 
You can stay here. You can extend through this right leg. You could stay in your twist. Let's come back down, maintaining your bind. Beautiful. And sweeping back into chair pose. This is the lowest chair pose we've gone in so far. Breathe in. And fold. Release your neck. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands. Let's float it back. Walk it back. Chaturanga. Ardha Mukha. Ardha Mukha. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg up, bend the knee, open the hips, stay here, flip your dog. Lift your hips when you get to the top of the pose. And flip it back. Right leg up. And we move forward for half pigeon. Half pigeon pose. Grab the opposite ends of your mat, puff up your chest, breathe in. On your exhale, we slowly start to walk our hands forward, fold. And it's here where you can flatten out. Completely flatten out if you wish. You can stay lifted up on your forearms, and if this is a lot, and it might be a lot, you can keep up on your hands, and you can actually stick a block underneath your right hip, and it just gives you a little bit more stability. Again, stability over flexibility. That's what our goal is today. We'll take 10 big belly breaths here, starting at the base of your belly. We're rooted, we're grounded with the lower body. Take a deep breath in through the nose. When the breath gets to your collarbone, it's kind of swirling around back there. Open up your mouth and say, ah. <sighs> Gorgeous. Do that five more times on your own. And don't move away from anything. Don't move toward anything. In this instant, be still. Think of your body as being cleansed by the breath. Your mind is relaxed. We're trying to let go of expectation of the pose, expectation of breath, even expectation of our life off the mat, what we think should be happening. Absorb the pose. Take two more breaths. Beautiful. Look up. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Curl under your left toes. Take the right knee to the chest first, then up and open. And we'll take three circles moving in, then three circles moving out. Now take the right leg up and over to the right. Beautiful. Taking that big, like almost moon cycle, right? The moon shape. Big circle. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Stay here, we can flip. Flip back over, left leg up. And then step it all the way through for half pigeon on the left. Again, inhale, puff up your chest. That right leg is going straight down the middle of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. If you feel any places of tension that are resisting in the hip, take a deep breath in through the nose. On your out breath, release the musculature that's holding it tight and tense. Remembering our exercise from the beginning of practice, it doesn't matter how long we carry it. It just keeps getting heavier. So whatever number that you thought your cup was, just bring an awareness to it. That the moment you set it down, it's weightless. Don't move toward anything. Don't move away from anything. In this instant, be still. Use your breath as a, your body's way, your mind's way of cleansing. Two more breaths. Beautiful, look up, place your hands underneath your shoulders, curl under your right toes, draw your left knee into the body, take it up and open, three circles in, three circles out, take it up, take it over for a big moon shape, breathe in, take it up and over for a moon shape, beautiful, 
Let's walk our hands, our feet to our hands. Sit it all the way down. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. If you think of it, all those forward folds that we did in our sun salutations and within the sequence, this is just another perspective. It's on a different plane now because we're seated. So wiggle out the flesh from your sits bones. All right, inhale, take your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, lead with your lowest rib first, so your spine will stay pretty straight until you get to about here, and then you find your roundness. Peace fingers, big toes. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Take three breaths here. Beautiful. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release the feet. We'll come to our backs. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Forehead to meet your knees. Plant your heels in line with your sits bones as close as you can get them. Maybe they even touch. On your inhale, we lift up from the lower vertebrae, coming all the way to the shoulder blades. And you might even wiggle your shoulders underneath your chest, interlace your fingers, take a little bind mudra here, lifting from your heart, lifting from your hips, pushing into the earth with your feet. Beautiful, release your hands, tuck your chin, cervical spine comes down first, bone by bone, pull your knees into your chest when you get to the bottom. Pull your knees into your chest, tee your arms out. Prepare to twist, inhale, twist on the exhale. Knees go to the right, gaze goes to the left. Come back to center. Again, prepare to twist, inhale, Twist on the exhale left. Gaze goes to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Let's take both heels up to the sky for waterfall rejuvenation pose. And five deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose or the mouth. So preparing for full rel relaxation today, your feet are about the width of your mat, your palms turn up by your side body. Let's close off our eyes, and if you have a towel or a t-shirt to put over your eyes just to move from the external to the internal, I invite you to do that now. If you have kids running around, you can invite them to come lay next to you. Shavasana is a great quiet place um, for your child to experience as well. And even if they, you know, don't allow you to get the full five or three minutes, whatever you want to spend in Shavasana, um, at least you are doing yourself and your babies a service by sharing what the gift of yoga is. So all of my love, all of my blessings, I invite you to set a timer on your phone for at least five minutes to let your body assimilate all of the postures that you just did. And when you're done, simply roll to the right, pause a moment for gratitude, and then salute the practice with your prayer hands and just say namaste. It's just an offering of peace, an offering of love. So again, start where you are. Use only what you, you have, what you can, and know that that's enough, that that is exactly where you need to be. And when you pick stuff up today, I want you to remember that it doesn't matter how much it weighs. It only weighs as much as you're willing to carry it. So the moment that you feel yourself leaning into fear, leaning into uncertainty, just put it down. And from my heart directly to yours, don't forget your Shavasana. Namaste.